everyone, welcome back to the Colorful Collar Lizard Ranch page. Sorry I've been gone for a little while, but here's episode 10, basking temperatures for your collar lizards. Just remember, the ideal temperature is 95 to 105, and there's actually proven literature on this to show that at 107 degrees, they'll actually start retreating away. So then maintaining the proper temperatures can allow for you to have your lizards absorb the needed UVB light as well as get the proper temperatures for really the digestion that they need to digest any feeders like crickets, doobia roaches, superworms, you name it. Here's a cheaper laser gun that I like to use. You can find them on Amazon, on different sites. Just something that has the accuracy to pinpoint a different area so you can actually tell the proper basking locations and also cooler areas in the enclosure. I'm going to go through shortly on some little clips and I hope guys hope you really enjoy. Thank you. Now a lot of my enclosures are the generic glass aquariums with some screen lids and as you can see you know you can't really shoot the laser through if you're actually good and kind of get in between the little holes you can get a reading but it's good to actually open the enclosure up and hit the exact spot that you're looking for again don't go through any glass because that will deteriorate and it's probably going to read the temperature at the glass not what the light might be hitting through it so again, just some easy tips to actually properly get the temperature is very important and can go a long way. So going into the enclosures, this is one of my baby Dickerson's collared lizard enclosures. As you can see, I have a nice little tile here for basking, their little water dish over here, and the baby females actually in the enclosure maybe just getting a little bit cooler, but she's actually still under the UVB strip light. So what I like to do, you take the little gun as you can see the time there or temperature there and you hit so you have 93 94 go closer to the basking 99 so that's like i said 95 to 105 let's go a little closer we have 103 that's even better so where he's sitting it looks like it's around 102 so at this temperature he could stay all day long and get the proper uvb lighting and again probably fluctuates around I'm getting like 103 101 so depending on the parts of the tile where this light's actually hitting it looks like he's where the highest spot is it's not getting above the 105 to 107 that studies have actually shown in collared lizards to where they'll start retreating let's see if i can hit where she is let's see the laser let's hold it She's actually by 98, so again, it's pretty warm over there where she is, and she might be a little bit further down, so the UVB might be a little bit weaker, but again, 98 is a nice little area where she basks and hangs out. Sometimes they'll stack up on each other, maybe get closer, might be a little bit warmer. Let's see, over here, I'm going to shoot it. 87 in the cooler part of the enclosure again that is ideal for like a daytime probably going to the corner where the water is it might be down to 80 but again you don't want it getting too cold and then in the enclosure i'll show you a nighttime one for proper temperatures at night but again you don't want it getting below 65 or anything that can risk them decreasing metabolism and because you don't want food to stay in their gi tract because then that can cause gi stasis other issues that you know, can easily be prevented by proper husbandry just to prevent further issues down the road. And again, this is just an easy way, a cheap online laser sensor uh, that you can go and use on your own just to make sure that every enclosure has the proper lighting and temperatures. Here's one of my older male Dickerson collared lizards. As you can see, I'm going to use the laser gun starting around 98 degrees. I'm going to go over where he's basking and I'm going to hit 104 degrees Fahrenheit. Now again, you don't want to get above around 105 because at 107 degrees Fahrenheit, he will start to retreat and won't get the needed UVB lighting he's going to actually need to really process his vitamin D3 and other things. Thank you guys for watching and I hope you enjoyed it.